Right. Oh, okay, I want to say hi guys. Welcome again to another video. Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about martial arts very quickly and fighting in general. Because I think there's a couple of things that really, really need to be put into perspective here. One thing is, again, the fact, the absolute truth that every martial art is basically geared towards specific things. It's a collection of movements that you can do with your body to fight in different ways. And those different movements and positions that you're putting your body in are basically, you know, used for different situations. Diff literally, different physical situations. Someone choking you, someone striking, whatever it is. You know, those different techniques that you're going to use uh, depending on whatever style you, 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 you're using, you know, those style, those techniques, like, on, basically techniques, movements only, uh, uh, techniques only work within a certain situation, right? That's how it is, right? So, as we know, no, no style of the martial arts, of the various different styles, none of them are, you know, perfect, but it's like none of them are it's not to say good or bad either. None of, none of them are for everything, is what we're saying. Okay? It's like there's just a collection of skills and moves. You take a kickboxer, for example, a kickboxer. A kickboxer's low roundhouse kick is very different to a kickboxer's high punch, or whatever, back fist, which is upper body movement, right? Um, a, a goddamn other martial art, you could have some kind of backflip or something. And then you can have another technique where they're <laughs> choking someone or some, you know, restraint or something. Totally different movements. Completely two different things. So it's like, that has to be understood. Because recently I've seen more videos again talking about um, various martial arts and kung fu systems. Such as like Wing Chun, for example. Wing Chun, Wing Chun, or in Mandarin it's Yong Chun. Wing Chun, for example, you know, people are saying, oh, that's no good, you know. Uh, it, you know, when you, when they go up in the ring, and when they're like fighting against M MMA fighters, for example, and they end up getting their ass handed to them, because they go in the pose and all this. Now, Wing Chun is one of my main styles that I practice, so I love it. But I love it for what it is, but I also understand that it's used for various things. In real fighting, in real self-defense, we're not fucking around, making poses. But what you get is you get a lot of people, or certain people, that go out there and they do these styles as though it's a, just to be doing this style. You know, it's like some fantasy fancy uh, thing or something. You know, whether it's Wing Chun, whether it's whatever they're doing, Mantis Kung Fu or whatever, they're just, they're just on the position of oh, trying to look. It's like, what's the use of it? It's like any pose or any like, it's not a pose, you know, it should be like real f fighting, right? So, in every martial art, when someone gets into a stance, he's like, oh yeah, that's a boxing stance, oh, that's a Wing Chun stance. You just, what a stance, you know, how you stand with your guard out and that. It's like, they're trying to look cool, is there any practicality in it or what? And people don't understand what it's all about, really. So, the thing they should understand, really, is um, training is training for certain things. But it should go beyond that and go into real fighting and you learn. So, you know... <laughs> It's been said before that certain Wing Chun fighters have lost like, to boxing more like a boxing or kickbo kickboxing or like, M MMA type fighters and stuff because they uh, they've got open you know areas they've got their problems with their guard or certain things you know or they're not trained for certain aspects of fighting the same way as other fight fighting styles may have so they've all got their flaws their different styles and some are more all round and. Yeah, and, th and they say, well, that's what it is. You've got all these flaws with some of these fancy Kung Fu styles or Wing Chun, and that's what people say, you know, that's why people get their ass beat. Not to mention that the people that are going into these uh, fights are totally with the wrong mentality. They're these people that are going in and trying to do the style and force the style. Okay, I'm a Wing Chun practitioner. I've got to stay in this position. Or, like, I'm going to try and be cool. They are not training for reality. Plus, the whole idea is ridiculous anyway. When you get two fighters, no matter, even if they're doing the same style, two MMA, whatever it is, or Muay Thai, or boxing fighters, or wrestling, whatever it is, the reason one beats the other, or fights better, is because they've got a different all-round 
way of moving within a certain situation. They're still two human beings, right? So it could be two different styles or two same styles. It depends how that person moves and fights, reacts and works to the structure. That's what it's about. So if you've got two different styles, which is just totally different, what you basically got is like, and they're just forcing themselves to be within that style, then basically what you're going to have is just two people there who are being robotic, just, just limiting themselves. I'm just going to stand like this, or I'm just going to use these movements, and I'm not going to use those movements. This is the absolute true thing, real fact, okay? It's what people don't understand. So I basically covered everything here. I'm going to make this video simple and short. We're going to talk about this again. But the main things are these, okay? So every style has various things that they're useful for. So Wing Chun would be useful in certain situations. Other styles would be useful in other situations. I'm speaking from just what I know as well. Um, another fact is, um, yeah, that is basically the fact. Okay, so that's basically the point that the every style is, you know, like that, and it's a limitation when you're staying stuck within one style and trying to use the whole style as though it was made for everything. It's, that's the whole point there. And they see one one style getting their ass beat when they're in a certain way, a certain part of the fight or something and they say oh that shows yeah no, that, that style is no good against this which is totally wrong the fighters have to be taken into, into play you know into consideration they're actual human beings and the techniques would work in different you know different situations like you know grappling may work well in some situations and uh, firing a gun from a mile away would be better in another situation it's literally the same for bare hand fighting in general so this is the whole point um you know, and so various techniques that are used for certain things. That's what I'm going to say. But the other thing I want to say um, is, we'll cover this again in another video. Is martial arts styles are styles, you know, I mean, as in systems, right? But you know, the, the true thing is, right? It, it's about reality. You know, when it comes to fighting, it's about. It's not about being in a style. It's not about being robotic. It's about trying to, like, you know, if you really wanted to win, you try and take your enemy out uh, at all costs in self-defense hopefully not in a violent way but if, if you had to t beat your enemy you'd have to like be direct when the opponent's off guard not looking unaware you'd want to be as quick as possible and efficient as possible you wouldn't want to be having to play chess sort of thing hand to hand trying to work it out you may want to test yourself or feel good about it but to you your style is the best anyway the boxer thinks he's the best the Wing Chun person thinks he's the best it's all ridiculous or you're trying to pick off that guy because of his weakness then you already know you can beat him well, that one. So you're trying to do two things. Like he's trying to beat you with your against your weaknesses. You're trying to beat him when he's got his open you know, weaknesses there. But in the middle, what's going on? They're two different things. I don't know anyway. But I, I see all this bullshit online with people putting down styles like Wing Chun and Kung Fu systems. So well, they don't understand what's going on. The problems in certain practitioners, and the main problem is in the whole idea about the whole thing is that each thing is useful in different ways. How you're going to move your arm this way or that way. It's just stupid in a certain situation, how you'd move or how you'd step. and It's just ridiculous, you know. You can move anyway, you're a human being. You can move, but training's for training. But one martial art is not for everything. You know what I mean? Not one tool is not for everything. So you don't say which one's better, you know, the hammer or the saw. I'm going to smash this hat, smash this saw to bits with the hammer. Ha <laughs> ha, I broke it in half. That's just stupid, isn't it? They're two different things, you know. You know? So I'm going to talk to you again about this again when we get a chance. I'm going to stop this for now. I'm going to talk about fighting in general and other things martial arts related. But thanks for watching this and take care now, guys.